Hey guys, this is Colby, and today I'm going to show you how to make the hand guards for the Clone Trooper armor that we're currently working on. Uh, so let's get started. So this is probably the easiest piece to make out of the entire set of armor that we have. Uh, basically, to get started, just go ahead and go to front view and go to side view. We'll be using side view and front view pretty much for the whole video. Uh, so by starting off, you can just pretty much press shift, right click, right about here, around this point, or right here. Press shift A, mesh. Turn on the screencast so you can see it. Shift A, let's create a plane, scale down, let's move it forward, go to side view, uh, move it pretty much ahead, right about here, match to the reference. Now I'm going to scroll out and scroll out of front and side view and just scale this whole piece down. We can now pretty much start editing the shape of the entire piece. So we can go into edit mode on the piece and start editing the shape. So I'm just going to start with side view first. So I'm going to grab this vertice here, move it right here, and just make sure to move everything to where they need to be. Uh, so it's kind of hard to see, but this piece should be in this corner here. This should be up here. So that's our starting square. You can go to front view, match to your reference, just move everything. Just do your best. These should all pretty much be like right about here. If you go back to side view, you'll see that it's a bit twisted now. And it's not really perfect. That's fine. Just get something that kind of matches the overall shape and makes sense. So I think having these kind of like as a trapezoid makes sense. So that's the uh, pretty much the left side of the piece. And you can go out of side view and just kind of make sure that this piece is not twisted. If any vertices, just make sure the face is flat. Now I'm going to grab this edge here, extrude it to the other side of the hands. Let's press E to extrude, and just grab these vertices. You can go into vertice mode and tweak the positions of these little points here to match the reference. You go to front view, do the same. It should be to the side. Let's move X axis. And there we go. We're starting to get the overall shape. Uh, so now we can add a little bulge right down the middle. Press Control R left click and we're going to move this piece up so you can go to edge mode grab these two edges here hold down shift select both and move them up a tad bit let's create a nice little bit of a bulge towards the center a little bit of a curve just like that now i'm going to add some thickness to the piece so go back in object mode add a solidify modifier can turn up the thickness a bit if you don't want it to be too thick that's good enough can add a subdivision modifier to it as well. So add a bit of a curve. You can turn up the poly count as much as you want to. If you want to keep this a low poly for games, you can keep it at zero or just not have it at all. Uh, basically, the more high poly it gets, the harder it'll be to load into another program or just take it more data. But I'm going to add subdivision, turn up the poly count a bit. So I'm just going to use this inside Blender. I'm going to shade uh, smooth. So right click on the piece, shade smooth. So now we need to sharpen up some of the edges here. Go into edit mode, add edge group right here, control R, right click, move your mouse outward, control R, uh, punch one more time towards this end here. And so now we have a fully kind of like angular piece that'll wrap around the hand. At this point, we're basically done with the piece, but I'm gonna move it over to my base mesh to match it to the actual piece itself. I already have one set up. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that for the moment. I'm going to move this into position. I can rotate it. To match it to the actual piece of the hands. That looks pretty good. You can go into edit mode and do any tweaks that you need to. So here I might move this side a little bit outward. Grab these twos and just kind of move them. I might move this down to match to the uh, index finger and cover this little hole. Basically from here, you're just tweaking the position of the piece to match the uh, base mesh that you have. 
So at this point, I'm probably just going to keep my modifiers for future use, but you can go ahead and apply if you would like to, to finalize this piece. So just apply, just press this button here, and just mirror it across the base mesh, add mirror modifier, and set the target as base mesh. Now mirror it across to the other side. You can also apply, uh, but for now, I'm just going to keep mirror modifier on, because I'm just using this base mesh as a placeholder. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. I'll try my best to answer them. Uh, next time, we'll be making the belly piece for the armor here. Uh, perhaps we're on the waist, so stay tuned for that. But other than that, I hope you all guys found this video useful, and see you guys next time.